In this video, I'm going to talk about biggest mistakes beginners make in painting on clothes. And this video is a part two. And if you are new here on my channel and if you have never heard about painting on clothes before, you don't know what kind of paint to buy, how to apply it, you should first better watch part one, uh, where I talked about five biggest and basic mistakes beginners make. I talked uh, about what kind of paint to choose, how to apply it, watch it and then come back here and in this video I will talk about uh, not so basic but also pretty common mistakes beginners make in painting on clothes. I'm Daria and welcome back to Art Fashion Channel. And the first mistake is drawing on clothes, sketching out your design on clothes, thinking that clothing is a piece of canvas. Let me explain you. First of all, if you're a beginner, I do not recommend you to draw on clothes, to sketch your design out on clothes, uh, because it's pretty hard to draw on clothes. So what you should do if you're a beginner, you should use transfer paper or carbon paper, which you can buy like in any stationery store. And um, I've got a couple of comments of people saying that uh, they couldn't use such paper, it just it didn't work for them. But you know, I've been using it for like five or six years and I'm buying it in like simple stationery store. It's like cheapest carbon paper and it works just great for me. And uh, probably it's a bit hard to use it on soft fabrics. For example, if you want to transfer your design from paper onto a sweatshirt or hoodie, yeah, it's a bit hard. You will probably rip <laughs> this carbon paper because to use it, you need to apply a lot of pressure to transfer uh, design to get clear lines. You should apply a lot of pressure. So yeah, you will rip it and yeah, it's just one use for one use because you see, I transferred this horse <laughs> and yeah I can't use it again because it's like damaged already so yeah you need to apply a lot of pressure uh, probably people who say that carbon paper just doesn't work for them maybe they didn't apply pressure you need to apply but if you like transfer your design from paper onto a denim jacket you don't need even to apply a lot of pressure like it's pretty easy because the surface is hard so yeah if you're a beginner you should better use transferring technique first draw your design on paper and then transfer it uh, onto your clothes using transfer paper and if your clothing is dark color of course black color carbon paper will not work you should use white color carbon paper and it will work just great on uh, dark clothes. So what is the mistakes beginners make when they start drawing, sketching out design using pencil and they're using such soft pencil to get such clear lines. And then they make some mistake and they have such pretty dark color sketch on their clothes and then they want to change something and then they use eraser to erase the lines and then not only they destroy the fibers using eraser applying pressure but also they get such pencil mess on their clothes <laughs> uh, so yeah then uh, fibers will be destroyed and then your clothing will look like bad probably not all the pencil will get off after washing and then yeah it's like, it's the wrong way of uh, approaching uh, you know, this process. So what you should do if you are a beginner, but if you feeling confident that you can draw on your clothes, you should use some hard pencil and just you know, create such very bright, very thin lines. Uh, sometimes I use pencil to draw designs, to sketch them out, but again, I'm pretty confident in my artistic skills. I know that I can, you know, create such a very bright sketch and if I use eraser, I won't use it like often. But if you're a beginner, I really recommend you to use transfer paper or if you want to use pencil, draw something, draw some simple shapes. For example, if you need to paint some smiley face, you can first draw it with pencil on your clothing or some, I don't know, 
some simple images, some simple signs. Yeah, you can use pencil because yeah, it's pretty easy uh, shapes and forms. But if you want to create something complicated to paint some dragon or some, I don't know, some portrait, draw it first on paper. And when you are sure that you are happy with your drawing, with your sketch, use transfer paper to transfer it from paper onto your clothing. Second mistake is buying using wrong paint. And yeah, we figured out that for painting on clothes you need to buy fabric paints, but all fabric paints are different. So before buying fabric paints, you should think what kind of clothes you will customize. First of all, think will you customize dark clothes or light clothes? If you want to paint on white t-shirts, on white hoodies, on light colored denim, you can buy like any good quality fabric paints. But if you want to paint on dark clothes, black t-shirts, black sweatshirts, dark denim, you should think about do these paints have a good coverage? Are they opaque enough? Because if paints which you bought they don't have a good coverage, it will be so hard for you to paint on dark clothes. You will have to apply many, many layers, then your artwork will become pretty stiff and you will spend a lot of time, you know. But if you bought fabric paints for dark clothes, opaque colors, uh, fabric paints, you will apply less paint, you will spend less time, it will be like much, much easier for you to paint on dark clothes. So many brands produce fabric paints for dark clothes and fabric paints for light clothes. For example, a brand Pebeo, which I use, uh, they have opaque colors for dark clothes and uh, they also produce paints for light clothes. Paints for light clothes, they don't have very good coverage, but they're perfect for painting on light clothes because using them, you will reduce the stiffness. Especially it's important uh, for t-shirts or for thin fabrics because stiffness can really make a clothing uncomfortable uh, when you feel the stiffness on your body. So um, if you want to paint on light clothes, I recommend you to buy paints for light clothes. But if you want to paint on dark clothes, you should buy opaque colors, paints with a good coverage. So yeah, brand Pebeo has paints for light clothes, for dark clothes. I know that brand Jacquard, uh, they produce paints which you can use both for light and for dark clothes. Uh, then I know that brand Marabou, uh, German brand, they also have paints for light clothes and for dark clothes. So yeah, before buying um, fabric paints, this is important thing you need to know. And also not just color of your clothes, but also what kind of clothes you're gonna customize. If it's a cotton, it's okay, you can buy any fabric paints. If it's a uh, polyester, yeah, not all fabric paints will work. Again, you should read the instruction because some fabric paints can be used on clothes with 30% um, polyester, no more. Uh, some fabric paints can be used only on cotton. Uh, if you want to customize a leather jacket, you should better buy paints for leather. Or if you want to customize 100% polyester clothes, uh, you should search for paints which will work on such kind of fabrics. Um, paints which I use, Pebeo fabric paints, they work pretty on all kind of fabrics. And I don't want it to sound that Pebeo fabric paints are the best paints in the world. No, they're also a bit problematic and I have a video about Pebeo fabric paints uh, where I talk about their black opal color, which is very problematic. And if you want to buy Pebeo fabric paints, I really recommend you to watch that video. Uh, but I just want to say that before buying fabric paints, think about what kind of clothes you're gonna customize, color of your clothes, uh, fabric, um, and yeah, then choose the best paints which will work for such kind of fabric. Next mistake is not understanding what is a base layer and when you need to apply it. And again, many beginners see clothing as a canvas and when you work with the canvas, you need to prime it first but it doesn't work the same way with clothes. Um, when you need to apply white base layer using white color fabric paint, when you work with dark fabrics, black denim, dark denim, uh, dark clothes, black clothes, uh, but when you work with light clothes, for example, light blue denim or even blue denim, 
not dark blue. You don't need to apply base layer. But when you work with dark clothes, dark denim, dark sweatshirts, black denim, black sweatshirts, you need to create white base layer. Because black fabric absorbs color and if you try to apply a red color directly on dark clothes without base layer, this red color will turn into a dark red color. And to create bright red color, you will need to apply many, many, many layers. But if you apply white base layer and then on top of it red color, you will get such a bright, beautiful red color in just two layers. So yeah, it's very important to apply base layer, but when you work with dark clothes, when you work with light clothes, you don't need base layer. And also pretty common mistakes beginners make is when they create such very thick base layer, they put too much paint. And yeah, it's wrong because if you bought good quality fabric paints with a good coverage for dark clothes, you can apply a very thin white base layer. For example, if you work with black denim, you can create thin layer which will turn your black denim into light gray denim and it's enough. You don't need to create such crisp white layer uh, because if your paints have good coverage, such light gray uh, layer is enough for other paints to work. Because if your paints have good coverage, they will cover this light gray uh, layer and the colors will be pretty bright, pretty vivid. So yeah, if you work with light clothes, you don't need base layer. If you work with light blue denim, blue denim. But if you work with dark denim, you need to apply base layer, but you don't need to put too much paint. And why it's so important to don't use too much paint? Because the less paint you use, the softer your artwork will be. And you won't get cracks, all the layers will connect with fibers. And it's also one of the mistakes when um, beginners apply too many layers and then last layers just don't have a chance to connect with fibers. And it's very important uh, for fabric paint to connect with fibers. If your fabric paint didn't connect with fibers, it will just get off after first washing. And I often get such uh, messages, people sending me uh, images of their uh, sweatshirts or denim jackets, and they say me that the last layer just disappeared after first washing. That's because they applied too many layers and the last layer just couldn't connect with fibers and yeah. So yeah, the less paint you use, the less layers you apply, the less problems you have. <laughs> By the way, regarding uh, paints for dark clothes, for light clothes, if you want to work with denim, with denim jackets, with jeans, I recommend you to buy good coverage fabric paints uh, because denim is such a rough fabric and also it's colorful, it's blue or dark blue or black. So good coverage fabric paints will work much better on such rough, colorful fabrics. But if you want to customize such a thin t-shirts, thin shirts, you should better buy paints for light clothes because with paints for light clothes, you will be able to reduce the stiffness and you will get such very soft, feeling soft artwork on clothes. Next mistake is mixing fabric paints of different brands. Once again, seeing clothing as a piece of canvas and thinking that you can do with your clothes whatever you want, whatever you can do on canvas. You can mix brands on canvas, but you shouldn't mix brands on clothes because all paints of different brands, they have different, um, how to say it, yeah. Mm. Not a texture, but a formula. Different brands, they all have different formula. So buying paints of one brand and buying paints of different brand and mixing them together, you're mixing two different formulas and there is no guarantee that these formulas will work together. They will connect and that after washing, your artwork will be still there, <laughs> no guarantee. And just recently I've got a message from one of my subscribers. Uh, she bought fabric paints of one brand and then 
she ran out of white color fabric paint and then she decided to buy just one can of Pebeo fabric paints, white color. Then she used white color of Pebeo fabric paint as a base layer and then other fabric paints of other brand uh, on top of it. And then after washing, the artwork disappeared. Just the base layer was still there. So yeah, it's a big mistake. Don't make it because you will ruin your clothes. Don't mix fabric paints of different brands. If you want to mix first, test them out on some piece of fabric. Try to mix, try to use them, uh, then wash it and see. But don't customize your pricey piece of clothing using paints of different brands. It's wrong, it's a mistake. Next mistake is applying too many layers and not letting each layer dry. So when you paint on clothes, uh, maximum layers which you can apply is five, uh, probably four, five, like no more. Because if you apply more than five layers, your artwork will be stiff, even if you use fabric paints, your artwork will be stiff, there will be cracks, yeah, you will get a lot of problems. So keep in mind that maximum layers is four, five, no more. And also it's important to let each layer dry. And it's not like wasting for hours and hours, no. You can use hair dryer to dry your layers and when you like touch it and see it that it's dry, you can continue. And if you're not letting each layer dry, your artwork will become very sticky at the end. And by the way, even if you used right fabric paints, even if you made everything right, uh, still some stickiness may appear at the end. But if you made everything right, this stickiness will disappear after first washing. But if you made everything wrong, uh, the stickiness will not disappear. So yeah, it's very important to let each layer dry in the process. And next thing which I want to talk about is uh, fixing paints on fabric. Yeah, when you work with fabric paints to fix them on fabric, you need to heat set them with iron. And um, biggest mistakes beginners make uh, is they don't wait for 24 hours to let the paint dry. You should wait for 24 hours, at least for 24 hours, you can wait for uh, 48 hours to let your paints dry. Even paint looks like it's dry, there are still some process of drying which we just can't see with our, with our eyes. Let your paints dry for at least 24 hours and then heat set them with iron. And uh, regarding ironing, um, your iron shouldn't be too hot because if it's too hot you will just bake your fabric paints and um, uh, there may appear such yellowish undertone on your artwork. Uh, or your paints will just melt and will stick to a desk or your ironing this board. You should iron on the reverse side or through some thin clothes with not very hot iron. And don't like push your iron and wait. Move, move it like all the time. <laughs> don't wait, don't bake your public paints. And also if you can't use iron, for example, fabric which you can't iron, for example, a puffer jacket, uh, you can use hair dryer and yeah, you need just to heat set your paints. And iron is okay, hair dryer is okay. And I often get questions, can I use oven to heat set paints? Well, why I don't recommend to heat set in oven here on my channel? Because I customize all kind of clothes, all kind of different clothes, like not just denim jackets or t-shirts, but all kind of different, different clothes. And I can't be sure that all these clothes, they don't have any flammable, you know, elements, details or something. So I don't recommend, but if you are sure that it's safe for you to place your clothing in the oven and he set it there for like, five minutes. If you are sure, then you can use oven, of course. <laughs> well, that's pretty all the mistakes which I could remember in process or technique, but there is one more thing which I want to talk about <laughs> in this video. It's probably a mistake when beginners, they uh, don't understand the possibilities of close customization and they don't search for inspiration and this is a mistake because if you don't know the possibilities of 
uh, cost customization, what you can do, what you can paint, what are the styles, what are the techniques, what are the different elements you can include. It's really hard to create some decent design. I see a lot of beginners, a lot of artists, for example, when they paint on their denim jackets, they uh, place artwork on the back side of their denim jackets between the seams. Uh, they create such rectangular artwork. And that is okay too, but there are so many possibilities. There are so many things which you can do with your denim jacket. You can create so interesting effects. You can create so interesting designs. You can use sleeves. You can use front side. You can dye your denim jacket first. You can bleach your denim jacket first. Then you can add some interesting elements like on the front side, on the back side. But because of beginners most of the beginners they just don't search for inspiration they just can't see these possibilities and all they are able to do is to create rectangular artwork on the back side of their denim jacket and it's not just about denim jacket about t-shirts sweatshirts like first if you're a beginner first search for inspiration it's very important uh, you can watch my videos of course <laughs> i have a lot of interesting elements techniques i show here on my channel you can search uh, cost customization on pinterest on instagram like if you want to find you will find a lot of uh, amazing talented clothes customizers it's okay to copy you know if it's your first artwork you don't know what to do you can use some artist's clothing as inspiration take some elements take some technique and again, you can make something your own, but using technique and elements and idea or something uh, from other clothes customizer. And that is okay. And then um, step by step, you will find your own style. You will find your own favorite technique. But to find it, you need to practice a bit. You need to try all kind of different elements, different things. So uh, my advice, uh, search for inspiration, uh, watch videos, search for images, and then you will understand better how to customize your clothes, what to paint on your clothes, and how easily you can create very beautiful, interesting customization. Well, guys, I hope this video was useful. As always, I ask for your support, for your likes and comments. Your likes and comments will help me and will help my channel. And I hope to see you next time. Fashion is art. Bye-bye.